Chess. Just chess. Sabek Limited. 739. Now that's quite a lot for a chess game considering that it is probably the most produced game in a form, you know, I mean Yeah I mean okay, right, so you can play two player. Um I mean white, I guess. Um let's go with medium. This is just gonna be chess, isn't it? It's not even like battle chess or something. AI move. Well, it shouldn't be, because I picked white. Why would it be the AI move? Hmm. Nice little feather, and just kind of medieval chess. Okay. Grab piece is L2, R2. Change board, change plans. Okay, cool. Fine. So, there we go. Oh, wow, that was quick. That was quick, and I messed it up already. Hmm. I, I yeah, I used to play chess years ago, back in school, but I haven't played in a long time. But I mean, this is yeah. This is just chess. It is nothing particularly fancy here. Um. Yeah, I mean, it's okay. It's chess. There's a random bottle on the table. Did the AI move? Oh, I did. That horse took me. Oh, I didn't pay attention. That was my fault. That was my fault. Oops. Oh, well. I guess that means check. I mean, that seems like a really bad idea, but sure. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not, I, you know, I haven't played a lot of chess, so I'm probably going to make really dumb moves. Um, I mean, it's okay. I, mean, I don't know, man. I mean, one, yes, it's chess, right? Um, and, I mean, it works well. It's quick. There are no sound effects to speak of. Um, come on, don't really? Okay, fine. Um, doodly do. The trouble is, I wish it would highlight which move was made last by the opponent, because it happened so quickly that I don't know which move he did uh, last. Uh, right. Okay. Then I guess let's. It's kind of like this little. Uh, I guess it's thinking as you're moving. It's probably thinking, like one. One step ahead, kind of thing. Um, yeah, go on then. Ah, oh, why'd you go over there? You don't want to go and play. Hmm. I mean, it's chess. I very much doubt that you're on this channel uh, to watch me play chess. And I'll be honest, I'm not on this channel to play chess. Um, it's a a mighty fine game. But it is um, one that you can play on literally every platform that has ever existed. I'm not sure there is any need for you to play it. You're going to check me if I go there, aren't you? Hmm. Um, yeah. Oh man, I'm getting absolutely destroyed here. This is This is not good. This is not good. Um, uh, lame. Lame. Don't do it. Oh, lame. Hmm. You're probably going to see me just get... Oh, yeah, I can't do that, can I? <laughs> really? Okay. Well, I mean, not that it really matters, because I've now been destroyed, and I'm down to... Yeah. One. Rook. That's a rook, right? Hmm. This is bad. This is bad, guys. This is not going to go well. Yeah, I mean, obviously. Meh. <laughs> 
yeah, as you can see. Why can I not move that piece? Oh, am I in check? Oh, of course I am, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Bad times, guys. Bad times. Now they're going to come and attack me with all of the queens. Oh, gosh. I don't know what I was thinking there. I'm literally just giving them all my pieces. I think there's only one move I can make anyway. Mm. Just moving my king around to his death. Come on. Just check me already. Suicide king. Let's do this. Oh, there's literally only one move I can make. <laughs> oh, attack king. Attack king. Come on, just check me already. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, right. Well, anyway. Yes, I do. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. So you can change the pieces and the board on the fly, just in case that was a thing that you wanted to do. That's kind of cool. I like that one. Very simplistic. Doesn't really look at home on any of these boards. Maybe that one. Anyway, that was chess. It was 7.39, which I think is probably about £6.39 more than I want to pay for a chess game. But if you don't have a chess game and you have 7 39 and you like this one, seems like a decent transaction. Do that. Bye-bye. Buried Stars by Line Games Corporation. Now, is that line as in the, the you know WhatsApp competitor... Um, encrypted messaging sending service for mobile phones, I wonder. It's the only line I know. Uh, but anyway, yeah, Buried Stars, Line Games, thirty nine ninety nine. So this is a full price, you know, maximum experience title. Are we going to Survival TV Show Season 4? Oh, this is kind of cool. Oh, I see. So it's like a, like a channel select. Yeah, are we going to see another um, dating game or visual novel or something like that? Only one way to find out. To stare at this little uh, loading icon. We the above icon appears on the screen while saving and loading. Excellent. Good to know. This is a work of fiction. I suspected as much. Yep. Yeah. Everything is made up. Gotcha. I do not recognize that language. Oh, no, it's Korean. Is Line Korean? Maybe it's just the developer. I don't speak Korean. I barely speak English. Ooh. Interim result of the SMS vote. First of all, we will reveal which contestant is now on the verge of elimination. Hussein So, he is in fifth place. Hussein actually did well on most of the votes thanks to his avid supporters on Fatter. I guess that's their social media one. But in this interim result, he is in the bottom. It seems his history of violence in school has kicked up a bit of a backlash. Uh, okay, it's kind of cool. Kind of like Twitter. And fourth place is... This guy! Han Do Yun. Or Yun Don Han. Do Yun finished second to last and takes fourth place. Many consider him to be a betrayer for deserting his own band members to advance to the finals. Boo that man. Boo his things. Please stop trolling noobs, you think. <laughs> so I have no idea what the game is, but it, it is looking like a uh, visual novel of types. But it's kind of got 3D, you know, 3D scenes going on, so... It's for voting for them. The top contenders. In Ho In Ha O oh, leaped to number three on the list. She's a daring character at the centre of attention. It's because she's got such prominent assets, I imagine. 
The viewer reaction to her has been extreme. People either love her or hate her, but we will see how the online and offline fandom will influence the results. First and second. First place. Gyu Hyuk Lee. Look at that guy. Very swish. So what is the game? It's setting up a... Setting up the characters, I guess, at the moment. So, second place. Black Lady! Hello! Ju Yong Min, who has always owned the stage, despite her thorny past. Even her panic attacks couldn't break her spirit. Good for you. Okay, so... Okay, so it seems like some sort of... I don't know. Hunger Games? Or... X has got talent, X Factor, that type of thing. So you can't give up or hesitate. A survival game. Survive or perish, but what does perish actually mean? Does it mean out of the competition, or does it mean out of life? Ooh. Spooky, moving things in the background. Which contender? That was an awesome film in the UK before the whole Hunger Games thing really kicked off with all the movies called Series 7 The Contenders where it was basically Battle Royale but on a TV show with British humour but that was a good show good film don't reveal the truth <gasps> Ooh. it's all kicking off like literally things are breaking and falling down Oh no, not the walls, they hold up the roof. Ooh, drama. When they mean buried stars, did they literally mean buried as in underneath the studio because it collapsed on them? There's blood on the screen. Challenge the beginning. Has this been your intent all along? I love the sound of the Korean language. I don't know any of it. No, I wait, I lie. I do. Sarangeo. That's the only thing that I know in Korean. Don't ask me why. So is this him remembering things? Maybe he's concussed or has died and now we're in the afterlife. I'm still alive. Okay, so I guess we're not in the afterlife. <gasps> What's going on? Ugh. His trembling limbs had goosebumps. He never imagined he would end up here like this. Well, I mean, obviously, I don't think anyone does imagine that a TV studio is going to fall on their head. So. There is a lot of text. Oh no. You betrayer. Oh no. So it looks like, yeah, we did indeed get squished by the studios. So I wonder if it's a mystery game where we're trying to figure out what happened. Maybe somebody sabotaged the studio or something. The beginning. The bassist of the indie band Masquerade. He joined the audition show with his band, but has, but he alone made it to the finals. For this, he has been dubbed the Betrayer. Okay, yeah. So, are you all right? You're alive too. Are you hurt? Oops. The damage on the stage was less severe. It was close. Call. Oh no, did I pass out? Just a little dizzy. 
Well, I mean, you know, when we compare this one to the other um, kind of visual novel that we saw earlier, the Nicole by Rutlika Games, it's definitely got more going on, right? It's definitely more interactive. Already the atmosphere is, uh, is more interesting. The kind of visual effects and... You know, considering that it's all story-based, they have to do something to keep you engaged, to keep you interested, and, uh, you know, want to keep going. And i definitely say that this one has done that. You know, it's it's set out the, uh, the environment very well straight away. You know, we're on a TV show. We know the characters. We know what they did to get there. And then we've immediately got the, the mystery. And, you know, we've got to find out what's going on. It's... A, you know, telling me about all of my different uh, abilities and stuff. Uh, ooh, what do I want to do? That guy looks angry. Oh, I see. So it's like um, interrogation, Dangang Romper style, I think. So you're trying to find what's happening and gather information so that you can probably make deductions and accusations later on. Well, it's. Uh, yeah, let's calm him down. He looks a bit upset. Ah, oh, look at that. I guess our friendship increased. Indeed it did. Yeah, it's cool. I think if I was going to play a visual novel, this is one of the better ones that I've ever seen. Definitely the best one this week, and probably since I've started doing this series. You know, we've had a couple of others. Um... It, it, it's entertaining just to sort of to look at and to interact with as opposed to just sort of clicking stuff I mean there's a lot going on it's introduced me about 20 mechanics so far um, again they're still not my forte um, I don't know if I could see myself sitting down and playing through the whole game but if I were this one is probably one that I would be interested in but then you know it's 39.99 as opposed to the other ones that we've seen which are much much less but, you know, if you're looking for a good virtual novel and, uh, you know, you like this sort of art style and the mystery, then um, you could probably do worse than this one. However, that is all for me on this game right now. See you in the next one. Nort. Is that like a cat or something? I don't know. Uh, yeah, so this one is Nort by Wild Sphere. It's 1599. PlayStation Talents Alliances. So I'm thinking that this is another inside style. He's like Smoky Cat. Uh, yeah, like an inside style 2D um, black and white adventure. Well, there's a little bit of colour. Ooh, Rotate World. That sounds cool. So L and R, L1 and R1 is Rotate World. Move around. Ah, what was that game? Oh my goodness me, what's... Oh, okay. Is that bad? Do I want that thing? Oh, this is really trippy. This is really trippy. So you actually kind of don't control the character. You rotate the world. And the character just kind of gets taken along for the ride. Um, yeah, it's trippy. You can either use... Oh, do I need to collect? Oh no, that was it. Okay, fine. Yeah, you, you rotate the world either with L1 or R1 or the left analog stick and um, and you jump with X, but that's pretty much it. Like The character's always at the scent. Oh, there's a 180 as well, I see. Um, there's uh, the character's always at the centre of the screen, so you kind of got you get your head around. I guess that thing's gonna kill me, isn't it? If I, I don't feel like the music matches what's going on on the screen. Like that's for a much more. Oh hello, secret. That's for a much more traditional sort of puzzle game, whereas this is, I don't know, the art style makes me think and stabbed of course oh this is gonna be brutal oh I do not have the hand-to-eye coordination <laughs> oh I see I lose the blue things I see 
Okay, good, good. Whoa, whoa. Oh, gross. Oh, this is difficult. Okay, fine. Yeah, I don't know. The art style is... Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I was so close. Yeah, the art style is sort of reminiscent of something a little bit more... I don't know, arty or something? Whereas the the music is is a bit more kind of I don't know actually I kind of expect there to be like a, a little guy running along and you're kind of flipping the world around him and he's in a bit of a trancey kind of cityscape where he's hopping from wall to wall or something whereas this one I expect a bit more mellow music or something like that I don't know like this like the sort of music you have in the level select that's kind of what atmosphere the game. It's really quick to load though, which is cool. Okay. Yeah, again, what is that music? Um, oh, and it's inverted as well, the controls, which make it a little bit difficult for me. Is that thing going to kill me? No. Whoa. What is that? Oh, I see. That's just like a... Oh, was that it now? Am I stuck in this little... Oh, no. I see. I can go under here. Mm. Well, I hope you're not getting sick playing this, uh, watching me play this game. I'm getting a little bit... Ah, Yellow Death. Right, yes, I remember that. I'm getting a little bit sick playing it, if I'm honest. It's kind of giving me a head trip. Let's see if there's anything over here. Oh, it's just a little crystal. Okay, fine. So I had to go down this way anyway. Come on then. Swallow me up. Do the munchy thing. Right. Let's go down this cave. Yum, 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 yum. Right. So. I cannot. Whoop. No. It's going to put me right back at the beginning. Why is that one right back at the beginning? I guess I haven't hit a... Um, haven't hit a checkpoint or anything yet. Like on the previous level, it would start me just before the spikes. No, oh, no. Maybe I should be on the other side. Maybe I should be on that bit. Oh. Ah. Okay. Okay. Go. Go. I'll get that crystal. Yeah. Come on. Oh, no. I feel like this is bad. No, no, no. Come on, up there. Up there, cat man. Cat woman. Cat thing. Oh, am I in like... Oh, I think I've been eaten by the monster. I'm like in his guts. This is this is really messing with my mind. Okay, maybe i go that way. And then quickly flip. Oh, come on, I didn't touch it. Yeah, this is uh, this is really messing with my head. This game, it's um, it kind of makes sense when you're when you're flipping. Oh lord, when you're flipping backwards and forwards like this, sort of like running down a, you know, it kind of feels like you're just sort of dropping, and that's fine. But when you're trying to navigate through those very tight these bits like platforms. There you go, I'll just go for speed. <laughs> it's, it's difficult, man. It's difficult. Is this good? What's growling at me? Don't growl at me. It's all cool, man. Just be chill. Yeah, it's interesting. 1599. 1599. It's quite a lot. But there might be a lot of game here. I don't know, man. I don't think I could play this for extended periods of time. And again, it makes me think, was this originally a mobile phone game? Where you tilted your phone backwards and forwards. Ooh, don't want to get eaten by that guy. You know, when you sort of tilt your phone backwards and forwards, I feel like that would make more sense. Like, I feel like I could probably see that as a mechanic working a bit better. Or at least sort of visually making sense. Uh, yeah, come on, 
Yeah, okay, let's get that. And let's go that way. Ooh, I need to chase this guy, but don't get eaten by him. Oh, he's gonna turn around, isn't he? Oh no. Yes, he is, yes he is. Oh, bad times, bad times, bad times. Oh, I see, that's probably where he like, that's his turning around point, isn't it? Hmm. Okay. Let's, uh... No! Oh, sad times. Oh, okay, at least that was a kind of checkpoint. Right, I feel like I need to get in that little hole just after he's, uh... He's in the middle of his turning around animation. And maybe I can hide from him down here. There you go. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yeah, look at that. Cool. So, yeah, this is Nought. I don't know what the name is in reference to. But it's fun. If slightly nauseating. But the uh, art style is definitely cool and funky. Still not sold on the music. But you know, it's a bit different. I'm going to investigate and find out whether or not it was on phone, on mobile phone, like on an app store or something, because I feel like this is the sort. Of, it, I feel like it's it, it's made for that type of that type of experience. Which way am I going? I go down. Uh, we we. I mean, this level is significantly easier than the last one he says and then almost dies Oof. yeah it is okay yeah it's making me a bit sick now <laughs> all right i'm gonna call this one and head over to the next family mysteries poisonous promises uh publisher here is artifacts mundi and this is 1199 I have no idea what this game is. I'm guessing mystery. Oh, is it going to be another visual? Veronica, these are for you. Oh, Mark, thank you. Thank you, my love. Whoa. For the I mean, what on earth is this game? It looks like. Oh, this is going to be interesting. I genuinely have no idea what to expect. Skip what? The title screen. Is it going to be a point and click? Oh, interesting. Man, that intro was was insane. It was like they just used images and deformed them to come up with animation. Okay. What have we got? Um, I think maybe casual... Let's start with casual. This is going to be some like arty point and click, I guess. Finally, I finished the paperwork for my latest solved case. The rest of the evening is all about soft classical music and relaxing. Good for you. I don't believe my luck. What do you want now, Duke? It's Duke here with generic video messaging app. Oh, okay, right. So, literally, move around with left uh, analog stick. I guess X? No? Okay, use hint. Well, yeah, I tried that. What is Did I just get spammed? Sparkles indicate a hidden object scene. Find all the objects on the list to finish the puzzle. Object. I don't know like the way the text is just kind of like splatted on top of the screen. It makes it kind of hard to read. Okay. Okay, you can also choose pair matching instead of hidden object puzzles. Pair match, you can... Like, that's really difficult to read. Is this the game? Am I just... Wow, this is... Exciting stuff, guys. None of those matched. There was no two matches. Wait, what? Am I being... Okay, whatever. Gorbank. 
What is this game? Who's this guy? Wiggle wiggle. I found a present. It's literally just like click around and fail to it's always better so I can see him okay can I just I don't want to do these I want to do the video back. why do I have to go through pop-up ads <laughs> I don't want to okay this game is weird what is this Who's that guy? Found some coins. And that thing. There's like a... Yeah. And some goggles. What is this game? Am I supposed to try and find all of these things? Is this a game? So I'm looking for a microphone, a house, a pearl and a key. Well, there's the microphone. Well, there's the key. House. So I'm looking for a pearl. Wow, this has got to be the loosest definition of game I've seen. It's it's quite clearly there. Don't you just love when you try and use your PC and uh, you have to... Why would you write in your diary to accept a video call? Yeah, don't you just love it when you're trying to use your PC and you have to click through a load of banner ads and find pearls? And I'm sorry to bother you, partner, but I have a drowning victim that looks ominous. More than usual, it's a murder or an accident. As opposed to what other option could it be? I guess suicide. And after this, we're even. I knew you wouldn't let me down. I've sent a driver for Jeez. And look at him in that picture on the right hand side. He looks like he's just snuck up behind her. Like she was going to take this picture and he's just kind of like rocked up and was like, hey, I'm in your picture now. Good evening, detective. Officer Lynch here. I'm waiting for you downstairs. <gasps> only need... oh, Duke sent the driver before he even asked me for help. That's awfully presumptuous. Indeed it is. Uh, okay. Cool. 15 missed calls. Why did I turn my volume up all the way? To help or not to help. I don't care. I'm angry with you. I'm staying home. Well, I feel like that would be pretty boring if I chose the stay at home option. Ooh, I found a card. Let the investigation begin. I don't know. The animation's weird. It's like, why is there a strawberry there? And that cherry just appeared out of nowhere. All right. Hello, hey, creepy. Here. Oh. Said you'll need the case file. Thank you, officer. Thank you, man. With nondescript accent. What? Puzzle. Find the objective. Uh, the objects, and oh, I didn't even get a chance to read that. Okay. All right. So, what am I searching for? Wait, come back. Okay. There's this guy. Go. Okay. Were there any survivors? Two, apparently. A young man. Oh my god, it doesn't give you a lot of time to read. The weather forecast for tonight. Hmm, rain, thunderstorm. Why did they go to see if they'd known a storm was coming? A thunderstorm without a thundercloud? Hmm. Riveting. Okay, I mean. Alright. Cool. Am I supposed to do something on this screen? Like, there's literally nothing to do. Okay. Alright, go away. What does this do? Oh, I don't want to switch. What? There's nothing... There's literally... Oh, uh, why? What, what? Why would I just pick up that? This is a dumb game. Like, it literally makes no sense. 
SOS signal. Okay. Yeah, not right. I need all the numbers. What you mean, like the just the random numbers that are randomly spread around? What is this game? It's just pick up random things, and they sort of sometimes may. Yeah, I mean that's clearly her name. Uh huh. Red hair. Yeah, I can tell. Oh, as an engine. Let's see what's inside the yellow folder. Let's do that. Let me guess. Random stuff. There's a body bag. Uh huh. Just put some stickers over a shark. Why not? More body bags. More body bags. And my smartphone. <gasps> oh, it's a skull! More sharks. And a foot. And a knife. More body bags. Oh no. Okay, I genuinely have no idea what's going on here. Um, what if the two accidents are connected? What if they are? Yeah, maybe if I'd have paid more attention. Arrive, detective. Good for me. Partner, wow. Here. Those butterflies are definitely part of this scene. It literally is like a, a, a spot the difference game. A digital spot the difference game. I can't get that. Um, it's just a card in a tree. Because why not, right? Duke's waiting for me. But the frog. The froggy is being all froggy. And this crab. And a beach ball. Turned into a present. I saw you. This game's weird. Um, I don't know if this is a series of games. It seems to be. Family mysteries. Um, I mean, it's not terrible, I guess, if you like that kind of stuff. Um, I don't know if I need to play... Again, it's a mobile phone game on the PS4. 11 .99. I don't know. Maybe your mum might get some entertainment out of this. You know, it kind of harkens back to... I don't want to compare it to Myst, because that is doing Myst an incredible disservice. But, you know, those kind of point-and-click games. Anyway, I mean, there it is. Um, Artifacts Mundi, Family Mysteries, uh, Poisoned Promises. Uh, check it out if you like point-and-click games with weirdly animated characters and nonsensical puzzles. Next game. Head Snatchers, Iceberg Interactive, eleven ninety nine. What is going on here? I'm gonna guess it's some sort of two uh, D platformer. Would you look kind of three D in the overworld uh, in the uh, intro picture? Um, who knows? Head Snatchers, maybe you're taking heads from other characters and. There's a lot of random Japanese here. Maybe it's developed in Japan. Or are they just using it for art? Uh, two to four player madness. Let's see if two heads are better than one in 2v2. Go online. Is it all online only? Hmm, okay. Well, let's start with the top one and just see what happens. It literally is. Oh, okay. I can't play that single player. Uh, I guess we have to go online then. Let's do this. We have no idea what the game is. We're just going to jump straight in and see if we can uh, get some other players and actually play. Oh. Whee. Okay, I'm in. Who do I want to be? I don't want to be a custom head. Oh, the cat guy. Yeah, I'm going to be the cat guy. Da, da, da. Okay, so it's 3D. I can run around. Oh, is it like a 3D battler? What is this? Okay. I can bow. Nice to meet you. Ooh. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Oh, sorry. I don't know if we're working together or... Or apart from each other. He's got like an octopus head. No, don't come for me. It's not cool. It's not cool. I'm sorry. It was an accident when I did it to you. Yeah, get off. Yeah. Oh, I see. I literally took his head. Wah. I don't really know what I'm doing apart from bullying this poor person. 
Oh, am I trying to get it through here? Oh, uppercutted me into space. Come on. Oh, I have no idea what the game is. I guess we're waiting for four players. Can I put my head on now? How do I put it on? Triangle. Okay. Ah, it's my head now. Okay, well, I'm sorry it's taking so long to get into the game. I mean, this is unfortunately a bit of a uh, an issue with games that are, are new. Sometimes they have ah oh, uppercutted my head right off. No, nope, don't do it. Okay, this may take some time, I guess. Da -da -da -da. There you go. Have your head back. Hmm. Yeah, we're both trying to get up there now. Ah, oh, come on, man. Come on, beefy Minaj. Oh. Okay, this is going to be an incredibly boring video if uh, if we're just sitting here waiting for Ah, oh, come on. Up. Oh, Up. Oh. It's like the world's most boring Don't get his head yet. Yeah. My head now. We can do. Oh. No. I'm going to put your head on then. Haha, <laughs> we can do. We can do. It's my head. Oh, he punched my head. Don't punch my head. Hmm. <laughs> this is unfortunate. Hmm. Unfortunate indeed. I think maybe we have to, uh... Yeah, I think we have to go and see if there's something else going on, because the, uh... That, uh, quick play was anything but. What's this? Is this single player? Is it, is it multiplayer only? Wow. That is an unfortunate situation if there are nobody... Ah, here we go. This looks like it said one player. Hooray! Yeah, let's do this. Has that guy got a bowling ball with pins for a head? Oh no! It's got a kind of cool, like, rubbery aesthetic to all of the uh, character models and environments, in fact. It does... Like, the lack of backgrounds and everything, it does feel a bit unpolished. Oh, there you go. It looks a bit better. Okay, so what are we doing? Getting to the end of this maze? Well, it's not really a maze, is it? This straight line. Mm, come on, let's go, let's go. I don't want to wait. Yeah. What's in the water? Uh, lava, even. Is there going to be anything to fight? What's this? Okay, pick that up. Died, doesn't... Oh, oh, hang on a sec. There we go. Whoa, harsh. Oh, I see. I don't want his head. I want the gun. The gun was much better. Okay, let's do it. Wow, wow. I don't really, uh... I don't really know what to say about this game. Oh, no. Is that... Is that bad? I lost my head. Come here. Oh, he ate my head. The zombie literally ate my head. That's bad times. 
No, no, I don't have a weapon. Hmm. Okay, this looks rude, but it's not supposed to be, I promise. I'm just trying to get past this guy. Yeah, I don't know. This game feels unfinished to me. It just feels like they've maybe had sort of an idea about... Uh, in the lava. Sort of had an idea about swapping heads, but struggled to actually make a game out of it. I mean, you know, it... it oh, that perspective throws me. It doesn't look like it's that far away. Um, yeah, you know, they, they struggle to make it into anything actually playable in as far as a game. And they really suck with their perspectives. Oh, rubbish. Come on. And I don't have a weapon, so I don't know what I'm supposed to do against these guys. Nope. Just avoid them, I guess. Whoop. Oh, I was like right at the end. Pick up his head. Yeah, there we go. Can I go through? Yeah, there we go. Okay, well, it's a shame we couldn't try out the multiplayer to see uh, what was going on. But, I mean, if we're in the launch week and there was only one other person playing, it doesn't... It doesn't really strike me with confidence that there's going to be a lot of people playing this game, um, which is a shame, but you know, ultimately, I guess people speak with their with their wallets, uh, or don't, you know, as in this case, if it doesn't excite people, it's a shame, but there we go, it doesn't look terrible, but it's not great, let's be honest, it's, uh, it's pretty bare bones as far as, uh, as far as games go, all right, I think uh, I think we've seen quite enough of um, of head snatchers. Maybe if this interests you and you give it a try, I, I hope you find more players. Hell, if you want to play with me, if you buy this game, leave a comment and um, I'll be happy to swap my PSN profile with you and uh, and we can play online and we'll see what it's like. But for me, I'm on to the next one. Destroy all humans. THQ Nordic, thirty-four ninety-nine. So this is a remake of an old PS One game, if I remember correctly. I think it's a remake. I don't think it's a a new entry in the franchise. Um, I'll be honest, never played the original. Um, I think it was based on was it based on Mars Attacks or was it just sort of heavily inspired by? Um, I'm not sure, but yeah, basically about a bunch of aliens, that, uh, and you play as the aliens, and you have to destroy all the humans. Pretty self-explanatory, really. Press any button to initiate the invasion. Let's do it. Ah, yeah. Very cool B-movie, sci-fi uh, kind of atmosphere to it. The sound visual design, you know, the text and everything. Humans of planet Earth, be advised, while the experience has been upgraded, the content and historical record of the original evasion of the Furons remains in near-identical clone. In story, words, and images contained within have gone too fast and I have not had the chance to read them. Well, here's this guy. Well, the Fermi Paradox says probably won't go too well for us. Five. All systems go, General. Four. Come on, Einstein. Baby, show us what you got. Three. What oh. the hell? Two. What in the blue blazes is that? One. No, wait. Stop the countdown. Uh-oh. 
Well, that's unfortunate. It's all the humans' fault. They attacked first. By shooting a rocket into our spaceship. Seems provocation enough to destroy them all. Done a really good job with upgrading all the graphics. <laughs> I love those theremin sound effects. Huh? Here it comes. What's he going to do? Collapse. It's a cool story and... I should never have sent you. Oh. What's shaking, Pox? You look a little, what's the word? Constipated. <sighs> Let's just say I hope you turn out to be less of an evolutionary dead end than your predecessor. You lost me. Shall I tell you a secret? Few of our people know this. But the DNA patterns in our cloning banks are becoming more and more degraded with each new clone. That's bad, right? Only if you we want think. to maintain our immortality through cloning. Of course it's bad! I'd <laughs> send Crypto-136 in search of a planet we visited many eons ago. A planet seeded with pure Furon DNA. But I lost contact. Let me get this straight. You sent me, uh, him, Crypto 136 to a hostile planet and he's disappeared. Maybe captured, maybe even being tortured as we speak. Well, I wouldn't jump to any conclusion. I bet you wouldn't. Let me tell you something, Pox. You're a smart cookie. But there's a time for thought and there's a time for action. And this is one of those times. I agree. We should get into the game. Perhaps you're okay. Right. I'm going to skip forward so that we can see at least a little bit of gameplay. But um, I love that intro. The story, yeah. It's got a really cool B-movie, but a bit of comedy. Kind of reminds me of old Crash Bandicoot humor style. Crash Bandicoot humors. All right, let's do this. First level. Here I go. Hmm. Destination Earth. Escape from witness to uh, escape from witnesses to restore a compromised holobob. <laughs> My cow looked like he's having a bad day. I think there was quite a lot of fanfare about this one coming back. I think quite a lot of people regard it as a, a cult classic. I mean, more than just sort of B movie cult. Oh, it's a lot of a lot of text, a lot of. Okay, I'm going to skip straight forward. Come on. Let's get into some gameplay, guys. Come on. Yeah. Do verify your suit is working under Earth's atmospheric conditions. There we go. Ooh, jumpy floaty. What have we got? Okay. Oh. We can peer into the minds of lower life forms via the cortex scan. Rip the preliterate thoughts from their pathetic little brains. I'm scanning cows. What a shocking revelation. Primitive, yet profound. Scan another one. Who would have thunk it? With the moo. I think these lactating bovoids are trying to fool us. I mean, what else could possibly be going through a cow's they mind? Eat with their mouths. Uh, I think I'm going to be violently ill. Attention, Earth creatures. This planet is now part of the Furon Empire. Your okay, skip forward. We Furons have evolved the astounding power of psychokinesis, Crypto. Target an object oh. creature, then lift it into the sky. Use PK to finish off the belligerent bovines. Oh. Slam them into the ground. Hush. Whoa. Oh, wait. Where's he going? Oh no, he's flying. Okay, let's get a different one. Oh, 
Arsch. Oh. Brutal. Alright, let's do this. Let's fight old, this looks like a old farmer Billy Bob. Try that farmer. Oh. Extract and collect the brain stem from what's left of the agricultural engineer. Oh, brutal. See ya. Come on, Mac. You gotta see this. They got a talking horse on the TV. I ain't never seen nothing like. Hehe. <laughs> I wonder what's gonna happen now. I'm not green. I could have written this game. Oh. Yep, I got some shields. Got it. Health. Uh oh. Ooh, brutal. Okay. What can we do with this boat? Oh, there's a guy shooting at me. <laughs> wow. Lasered. Oh. Bye bye. Whoa. That's harsh. Have a chicken. Whoa. Oh, and he is down. Well, yeah, this is good fun. I like the humour. The graphical style is uh, fun. Evening, Ms. Plays well. We got a call from Farmer Dixon over the other side of the state. Let's quickly take out these police. Oh, the Furonity. Vaporize them, Crypto. Oh, I got a jetpack now. We. Oh, I think I've run out of fuel. That is not a very long range weapon. Unlucky. Can you do something with the car? Oh, okay. We'll quickly do that. We'll quickly do the flying saucer. And then uh, we'll call this video. Here we go. Oh, I'm not quite far enough. Take a spin in your soft control. Get oh wow! The controls and then go ahead and start shooting. I do wonder how. No trace. Wonder how it played uh, on the original PlayStation. Mission failed. I left the mission area. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. However, it is a good segue for us to move on to the next game.